Hey, I'm Pastor Fred, and for many of us, today is uh, it's kind of a tough day. Let's be honest. Uh, yesterday was Christmas Day, right? The culmination of everything, the reason for everything. We got everything was like, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. It happens, and now we have the day after. And so for some people, they'll go shopping, but we're gonna follow through. That's what we've been doing. So hit that subscribe button, and we're gonna continue to follow Jesus. Uh, even the day, maybe especially the day after Christmas, because it, it's just so awesome. And it continues to be this amazing, amazing thing. We're not, we're not going to put Jesus back on the shelf like the decorations. We're not going to, you know, uh, bring him to the curb like we might do the tree, because some people will do that. Like the day after. Like it's done, okay, we, we had our day, we had our celebration. Um, or, or, or maybe we might wait another month or so, but, but still, like we're not going to put him away. We're not going to put that truth away. It's too great. In fact, we're not going to stop singing. And so the last song we're going to look at this week is Hark the Herald Angels Sing, right? Glory to the newborn King, right? And, and the, the, that's the, the words that we see in, in Luke 2. As the heavenly host, right, we're, we're, we're talking to and, and bringing this good news to those shepherds. They said, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among those with whom he is pleased. We are the ones he's pleased with. And I can't even imagine what those shepherds must have felt. Because as I said uh, on Christmas Eve, uh, uh, most people, especially the religious people of, of their time, wrote those shepherds off like they were not like welcome at the temple. They weren't work welcome in worship. They were, they were considered like sort of like they had spiritual cooties, like stay away from them. But God said, I, 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 I'm sending Jesus as a gift to people like that, to the nobodies, to the, to the all alone, to the, to the ones without hope. So maybe you're feeling that way. Right, and maybe, maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed. And you're thinking, oh man, I wanted Christmas to be so much more. And maybe it was a big, incredible disappointment, right? When, when it came to the gifts or when it came to family coming over, maybe there was an issue, maybe there was a fight. I'm not, I'm not sure what it was or what your experience was. But here's the thing that I know for absolute certain is that Jesus is with you and there's still a reason to sing. Because the newborn king is the one who died for us. The newborn king uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice for you and for me. Give us the ultimate gift. And it's not one you have to return. It's never, it's never one that's gonna, you know, out, we're, that we're going to outgrow. It's never going to wear out. It's never going to get old. In fact, I think it just becomes more and more uh, incredible to us as we understand more about it. So let's, let's spend these next days as we're getting ready for, for New Year's. We're getting ready for 2021, aren't we? But we, we've got the greatest gift ever and the greatest reason to keep on singing. So what I want you to do, go back to some of the uh, follow-throughs from earlier in the week and there's all those songs. Uh, go to whatever streaming thing you'd use or, or whatever it is, you know, follow those links um, and, and just listen. And, and, and what's really cool about things like YouTube is that um, there's the version I'm pointing you to, but often there's a whole bunch of other ones in the list. And you might discover your new favorite, uh, your new favorite song, your new favorite version uh, for Christmas might be there waiting for you. All right. So let's keep on singing. Let's keep on giving glory to God in the highest and, and, and just embrace the peace that he gives to us in Jesus. All right. We'll see you next time, and, and again, a, a blessed Christmas to everybody.